folks, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you guys are here for another fun video. So this is my second video for today. Today's November 30th, 2020. Um, but I got my mail and I got a package. So I wanted to open it up and show you guys what I got. If this is what I think it is, I am so excited to see this. So let's cut the crap and let's just get into it. So um, I this is was a pre-order. I ordered this probably three months ago or so um, through Trick or Treat Studios. So if you are familiar with Trick or Treat Studios, they are a top of the line company that makes um, masks um, that are like um, movie ready almost, uh, replica masks. And um, this is not masks, I did not order masks, but uh, you know my love for Universal Monsters and they decided to come out with this Oh, I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to show you. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so I opened the box and it looks like this to start with. So what these are, they are, oh my God, they're these little mini busts. So this is the creature from the Black Lagoon. I don't know if you can get a good look at him, but this is the creature from the Black Lagoon in here. <laughs> And here's my main man, Frankie. There's the Frankenstein creature. Oh my God. Oh, these are so cool. And then the final one, the wolf man. I don't know if that plastic is, is making it hard for you to see, but oh my gosh. I kind of wish that they were a little bit lower down in the box so you could see them a little bit better because I was hoping to not have to open the boxes, but... I, you know what? Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I guess we will open it. Oh, 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 what is this? Oh, they sent me a little air freshener that says Trick or Treat Studios on it. How cute is that? A plus. A plus Trick or Treat Studio. Okay, I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it. Whatever. Oh, <laughs> I am so freaking thrilled. Oh, my God. He's so cool, and he's nice. He's actually heavier than I was expecting him to be. I don't know what the material is. Maybe a resin or something like that, but... So, this is the Wolf Man. Oh, my God. Look at the details on this guy. Can you see him very well? There we go. Oh, don't, don't focus on me. Focus on him. Oh, my God. So, like I said, just, this, just a little mini bust. So, I mean, next to my head, he's teeny tiny, but figured I would just hang them up, you know, put them on my, my bookshelves or something. I got to see Frank. I got to. I have got to. All right. Don't screw up the boxes. Don't mess up the boxes. Oh, God. Man, I messed up the box. God. Every time I tell myself not to do it, I do it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love him. I love him. So these are all, of course, Universal Monster design. So we had uh, Lon Chaney Jr. as the Wolfman. You've got Boris Karloff as Frankenstein. Oh my God, this is so cool. And then the final one was, of course, the Creature from the Black Lagoon. So they have actually quite a bit of other ones. They had like the Phantom of the Opera, I think. They had Dracula. And um, maybe the mummy, I don't remember. I think if they had the mummy, I would have bought it. But um, I couldn't afford all of them because they were $20 a piece. I did get, there was a coupon that I put on the order, so it wasn't as expensive. But still, I was like, I can't afford all of this right now. But these are my three, my three go-tos in the uh, Universal Monster. Oh my gosh, this is cool as hell. Look at his details. Can you see him? Oh my God, look at the back of his head. He's even got his gills that go all the way down. Oh. <laughs> he actually might be my favorite of this series. I mean, I love them all, but he is so beautifully detailed. Oh my gosh. So we've got, let me get these guys zoom to a position where you can see all three of them together. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here, here, and here. So these are my new little buddies. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, they're wonderful. I am so, I am. 
they were definitely worth the wait because it's been a, it's been a while. Like I said, it's been a couple months, and I think there was one initial small delay on getting them out, but that's no big deal. But I love them; they are absolutely incredible. Oh, see, I was gonna just keep them up in my room, but maybe I will put them downstairs. I'm not entirely sure where I will put them in my living room, but they warrant to be seen because they are extraordinary. So. We'll see what I can do. But Trick or Treat Studios, you guys have outdone yourselves with these guys. They are absolutely gorgeous. I am thrilled by this purchase. So thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoy these. If you do and you would like to pick some up, I will link in my uh, description box below the uh, information so that you can pick up your own of these little beauties. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.